throat thing works really good. Here, have another one. You know what? Have another one? No. Nope. I want you to have another one, then I'm gonna follow it up with a stab. You ready? Whoops, wrong button. Alright, throat shot, stab. Crap. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we're going to be checking out a game called We Who Are About to Die. Now, bonus points to any of you who remember that way back in the early days of my channel, we used to play a gladiatorial combat game called Domina. Now, I absolutely love Domina. Domina was a fantastically brilliant game. Unfortunately, the dev of Domina turned out to be... So yeah, we don't play Domina on the channel anymore. However, since we got done with Domina, I have been desperately looking for any kind of gladiatorial game that might have a shot of taking Domina's place. Now, to be fair, there aren't that many contenders for, you know, gladiatorial combat games, but I have never really found anything that actually caught my eye up until this one. I mean, to be fair, I didn't even know this game existed until, like, somebody showed up on my YouTube recommended list last night actually playing it. So, I checked it out, I decided it looked pretty good, I picked it up, and now we are getting ready to play it. And just to keep things as interesting as possible, we are going into this blind. I haven't played a single second of it, we're gonna do this basically like we would have done if it was real. We're gonna get, well, basically bought, because I think we start off as a slave. But yeah, we're gonna get thrown into the arena, we're gonna figure out what we need to do, and then we are gonna do our absolute best to survive. So best of luck to our little aspirant, and as they say, we who are about to die, salute you. Summer chosen, summer bred. Others are taken, torn from their lives. Yeah, that's kind of our backstory, I have a feeling. Some volunteer, the fools and the fearless. Destined for glory or destined for blood. Trained at the Scalo, the New Brotherhood, aka the Ludus. All aspire for glory. Welcome to Tarantia, aspirant. Behold, our god of blood and combat. As an offering, Tarantia was built City of Wine Games, City for Oh, City of 1000 Arenas. My name is Juridus. I was once like you. I retired and now I train fresh sacrificials and host games. On these training grounds, you'll learn the basics of combat. Train well and maybe you'll make it through like I did. That's what all aspirants aspire towards. Or don't, and become a part of the regular blood sacrifice. That's charming. Thank you, boss. Move by pressing WASD, move to the mark areas for the basic lessons of the game. The flags indicate how essential each one is for survival, areas without flags can be skipped. Okay. This game has a unique combat system. Skip this training and find yourself having a bad time, flailing around, oh, flailing around, jeez, I don't know why I can't talk today. I'm, again, I'm gonna blame the NyQuil. Anyway, flailing around in deadly high pressure combat. At first you may struggle to even land a solid hit. Take your time to figure it out. Over time, you'll learn how to hit hard and how to hit accurately. Eventually, you will master combat. Reset the tutorial via the game options to return here anytime. Alright, I can do that. So I am this dude. Move to each tutorial section, view the video, example, and read the info. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the section. Okay, camera controls. Alrighty, well, what do we got over here? Hold left shift to sprint. Again, fairly traditional. In classic mode, you face the cursor. In sprint mode, you do not face the cursor. Alright, well, we're going for classic mode, because I'm going to be absolutely dead in about two seconds if we don't. Okay, important, you can move the cursor near you to aim down, and far from you to aim up. Okay, yeah, we'll figure that part out when the time comes. 
Alright, click and drag left mouse button in a direction to ready a directional attack. So like that. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Okay, so you have to kind of click and drag and then let go to actually attack. Although we seem to have a pretty good grip on it. Okay, double click just absolutely slaps the thing. Oh, that's to stab. Okay, double click it. That's the overhead slash. Attack animations vary per weapon class. Most weapons have eight attacks. Tip, hold left alt to guarantee a stab. Okay. Hold left control to guarantee an overhead slash. All right, you know what? That's actually not that bad. Okay, where am I supposed to go next? I assume I have to attack this crap. Yeah, the click and drag part's gonna suck a little bit, but basic stabbing, I think we're gonna get a grip on. Okay, click and hold right mouse button with a shield or weapon to block. Okay, that's fairly simple. Left mouse button or Q to grab a nearby shield and pick it up. Can I... Um, oh, I was gonna say, can I grab your shield, sir? Apparently I cannot. Can I grab this one? Yes, I can. Do I have it? No, I do not. Where did it go? Oh, okay, you have to only hit it once, I'm guessing. Press F while holding a shield to perform a shield back. Ooh, took that right in the throat, he did, he did. When shieldless, you will perform a less powerful kick. Blocking with shields is more reliable, but shields can break. Okay, I am absolutely digging this. Press tab to target the nearest enemy. That's incredibly handy to know. Okay, tab again switches to the second enemy. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just bop it a couple times so I feel better. Untarget, press X. I'm never gonna remember that. Once logged on, oh, locked on, you automatically face the enemy. That's really good. You can try it out on the dummies. Now, honestly, I'm about ready to go just actually kill somebody. Oh, hold on, I gotta actually unlock that, don't I? Hopefully that was the X button. Okay, health, stamina, skills. You know what, that's all fairly self-explanatory. Next. Advanced defending. When blocking without a shield... Wow, I'm a bit of a wreck today. Okay, here's a thought. How about we back away from that guy so we don't get hit and, like, ruin our shield while we're reading? Okay, when blocking without a shield, click and hold right mouse button while hovering the cursor over your enemy. The closer you hover your cursor near the enemy's weapon, the more reliable the block will be. When blocking with a shield, your shield will turn to face your cursor. Okay, Q to drop the shield. Okay, so if I look over that way, I'm actually probably a little bit too close. Now, what was the button to stab you in the throat with this thing? Was it that one? No, that's, no, that's let go of the shield. Don't do that, baby. Hold on, I want to know the hit you in the throat button. I've completely forgotten what it was. Uh, can I go back to this one, please? F, okay, yeah, I want to do the F on this guy, because he looks like he might be an actual human being. Is this dude only got one arm? <laughs> oh no, he's got two. Okay, yep, Q to drop the shield, I'm not going to do that. Okay, hold an attack for a bit to get more strength and speed. When you do a quick flick, your attack will be faster but weaker. Faint an attack by... Oh, faint an attack by attacking again before the attack finishes. Okay, so like that... Fa no, that's not faint. I don't know what fainting is, you know what? We're fine. We're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Okay, press or hold spacebar to dash in the direction of movement. If you're not moving, this will dash backwards. Okay, so if I go like that, I can dash sideways. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Dash by double tapping WSAD. We'll press and hold spacebar. If we're not moving, that will cause you to dash. Gotcha. Okay, now we've got dropping and picking up. Q to drop your shield, E to drop your weapon. Both sound like terrible ideas. When you are unarmed, hover your cursor. Oh, it's going to give me an axe. Never mind, I take it back. There we go. Okay, now I'm guessing I can throw the axe. Whoops, I actually need to stand on the two-door thing. Okay, uh... Tip, remember to drop a shield before trying to pick up a two-handed weapon, or stay unarmed. Seems like a good idea to me. Yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? Okay, how do I throw the axe? Do I just go like... Oh, hold on, is it this one? No, that's to swing it. Um... Okay, apparently I don't get a throw an axe. Oh, there we go. Never mind, I stand corrected. Drop your weapon during any attack to throw. Okay. So if I go... Oh, I gotta hit Q on that one. Hold on, let me get in the thing. Let me aim at the board. One hour later. Oh, it's the E button. 
Okay, well now I've lost my axe, can I try a shield? Uh, yes please, I want to pick up a throwing whatever it is. Alright, let's see if we can do this a little bit better. Um, no. Yeah, I know. Can that go away please? Alright, so like that. No. Oh my god, we are gonna die. Longsword, yes. You know where you stand with a good longsword. Okay, picked up... Oh, hold on, this is money. Uh, yeah, I'll have all the money, please. Okay, you guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta pick up change off the ground. Okay, training UI, one of two. So how do we do this? Do I just... Oh, okay. All I had to do was engage in him. Yeah, now I'm gonna block you for a minute. I'm gonna block you again. I'm gonna try and hit you in the face. Ready? Oh, he blocked too. Crap. I say, you're gonna leave that side open, dude. I'm gonna take you on it. That's what's gonna happen there. Oh, hold on. I can't remember the button to... Uh, oh, yeah, no, block. Here for a second. Let's see if I can remember the one to kick you. Is it... Oh, hold on. It's the same one as the shield, wasn't it? Okay, I'm getting my butt kicked here, so... Oh, God's sakes. Okay, need to drop your weapon and end the spar session. You know what? Yes, please. <sighs> that did not go well. So, note to self, how about we go back here and figure out what the stab button was again. It was in here. Yeah, don't stand too close. Uh, nope, let's try over here. Oh, hold on, there's a bunch of money over there, too. Hold on, I'm gonna grab the money, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to stab, and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's try a different guy. How about you? Oh, crap. That's fine. That's a quick stab. No. Oh, and I'm double tapping the thing is what I'm doing. Yeah, I need you to just stand there and hold still for a second. I kind of wonder what the controls would be like if I was on a, uh, if I was on a controller. Oh! Okay, I am done with training. I am ready to get killed. Let's go do this. match will soon begin and we will be deader than a doornail remember your training in three two one i really don't remember my training i do like that all i have to do is survive that's kind of handy what do we got one dude dude has a shield though i don't like oh i've got a shield too no lock 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 digby block Oh, the throat thing works really good. Here, yeah, have another one. You know what? Have another one? Nope. I want you to have another one, then I'm gonna follow it up with a stab. You ready? Whoops, wrong button. Alright, throat shot, stab. Crap. Okay, nope. Throat shot, overhead. Oh, that worked really well. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get a little bit of stamina back here. Alright, now Clay did do an overhand swipe. I'm going to do that in a minute. Okay, what I want to do is I want to do, no, I want to do the throat stab, then the thing. Okay, I'm double clicking that like crazy and nothing's happening. I'm going to go back to doing it real fast. One in the throat and a hack. Oh, got him again. Got him again. Got him again. Come here. Smack him on. Oh yeah, how'd you like that? You like it again? You want another one? You want another one? You want another one? How about shield in the face? Come here, you. Come here. Oh, crap. I'm half dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold block until we get some of our stamina back. Dude's limping. That's a good sign. Can I actually take his legs out from under him? It'll have to be an angle about, like, that. Okay, you know... Oh, my shield broke. Crap. Can I get another one, please? All right, well, we're just gonna go for it. His... Oh! Turned out that was a really good plan. What do you mean the spectacle's about to begin?
allies incoming. Okay, I like the sounds of that. Um, dudes, I don't have a shield. I really... Oh, hold on. There's a shield. Can I have that, please? Um, I did not grab the shield. Can I just steal one from one of you guys? Hello, has anybody got a shield? Where's my sword? I don't have a sword anymore either. Alright, well, I'll grab this axe. I guess if I want a shield, I'm gonna have to take one from somebody, aren't I? Oh, is that a... Actually, hold on. I want this sword more than I want this axe. Oh, that's a wooden one. Nope, stand corrected. I want the axe. Hi. I was gonna say, it looks like you're my first victim, but apparently, you're not. You gotta pick on somebody. Who's the bad guys here? I can't really tell. Is it the dudes in blue? Well, we're just gonna swing indiscriminately whoever gets in the way. Oh, shoot. That actually takes a lot of energy to swing this axe. Oh, there's a sword. Yes, please. I'll have a sword. Uh, yeah, they all look like they're having a pretty good time. I think I'll just wait and let them uh, thin the herd out a little bit for me. I mean, it's not exactly sporting, but... I am a newbie, after all. Okay, you look lonely. I'm gonna come attack you. Hi. Yeah, hold still, please. I would very much like to just chop your head off. From behind is fine. Did you really break my sword already? You wretched little man. I'll have that, please. Alright, now I'm really mad at you, so... Um, no, that was not an invitation for you to come fight me, my friend. Okay, shield, please. I'll take the, um, nope, I want to do that. There we go. Okay, we've got a shield, and we're down to three guys. And one of them looks like he's willing to wait for the other two, so... We'll just wait until this field gets whittled down a little bit more, and then we will go to work. Twelve seconds later. Alright, we are down to one. What do you mean, victory? Oh, crap. The guys in blue were my allies, weren't they? Alright, well... <laughs> I'm willing to bet I probably killed at least one of them by accident. Flashback. Alright, now I'm really mad at you, so... End of flashback. Oh, okay, so is that just the end of the tutorial? Okay, so now that we're done with that, this must be the character creation screen. So, hello, Jordy here. Jordy's the developer, by the way. Welcome to We Who Are About to Die. Keep in mind, it is possible you may sacrifice a few gladiators to the early access jank gods. <laughs> oh, trust me, we worship the jank gods on this channel. Please report all issues in the Discord. Easy Discord links and a place to share anonymous feedback can be accessed by pressing F1, yada yada yada. Gotcha. Okay, so, let's actually make our gladiator then. Free sword and board. Since it's your first time as an aspirant, your scholar has gifted you a free shield and sword. Good luck. I'm, I will take any advantage I can get. Okay, you are Mungo Inathulius. No, we are not. Our name is... Um, can I... Can I not change the actual one? Well, hold on. Reroll it. Yeah, no, it's fine. Reroll it. I want to see what we get. I don't know how much of a character creation thing we actually get. So, you know what? Oh, it's still going to make me be Mahomo... What's your name? Well, we can pick our outfit colors. Okay, Linoleon, Tarantian, Mephosi Red, Hanian Purple, Mogadai Yellow... Myrodon, you know what? We're Myrodon Orange. Now, difficulty, we've got Commoner, Gladiator, that's the standard one, and then we got Lion Slayer, which is... We're gonna end up there someday, but we're definitely not gonna end up there in this episode. Uh, you know what? We'll just stick with Gladiator. So now, we need a nickname. What do we want to call ourselves? Okay, you know what? We're gonna be Mahomo Dog Food. Oop, too many O's, Digby. Yeah, we'll be Mahomo Dog Food Loros. Uh, can we... Aspirants bigger, yada yada yada. Alright, we'll take that as is. Okay, hover over anything to learn more. Utility menu, manage your career. Alright, you know what? We'll go to the... Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, can I actually change my name at some point? Because that would make me really happy. 
additional inventory slots, yada yada yada, reveal new item. Okay. What do we got? Oh, okay, so these uh, blue things we won. We got 1,200 of them at the moment up there at the top. And we can use those to unlock things. So we can spend 10 grand, unlock all three, or... Alright, I'm guessing, you know what, we're just going to unlock level one here. If I can figure out how to do it. Oh, it's just explaining it to me how to do it. <sighs> okay, well, I think that might be a good place to leave this very first episode. So, yeah, I'm thinking it might actually be a good idea for me to start a second game if I can. And do some, like, actual off-camera training and figure out how all the menus work and all the other stuff we need. I gotta say, the combat actually feels like once I get used to it, it's going to be fairly intuitive. And yeah, this game is a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be, but it is definitely scratching that gladiator game itch. And on that competitive note, as always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of We Who Are About to Die. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.